You just need, Titans fans just need Will Levis to hold on to the football and don't don't force it. I, I honestly, I think my favorite bet in this game is I like the under because I'm not quite so sure that the Dolphins are going to want to pass the ball with Tyler Huntley. He was just signed a couple weeks ago, so he doesn't really have a big grasp of the offense. And I know the Titans give up yards on the ground, but I think if you think about game script in this game, you don't want Will Levis slinging it around. And then conversely, I don't think you want Tyler Huntley, if you're the Dolphins, trying to win this game with his arm. I think we're going to see both teams, whether they like it or not, going to the ground in this game because that's probably their best chance to try and win it. So I think I would go with the under. I like that a little bit more than Titans plus two and a half, but I would lean towards your Titans. I think they're better than they've looked. And it's hard for me to trust the Dolphins, A, because of Huntley, and B, even before he was in the starting lineup, the Dolphins didn't look great anyway. And also they've lost six straight against the number. Ugh, yeah. So neither of these teams look trustworthy. As far as the total goes, I think based on the numbers, you're right. Both these teams have had absolute issues scoring. I don't think either team has scored 20 yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm -hmm. but Or over 20 points, I should say. But I think the sabotage factor is the Dolphins have some playmakers. Because here's the thing. Even if Tyree Kill gets like a little slant pass, like he's fully capable of taking like 80 yards. So I don't right. really love playing unders on teams like that. Uh, I think for me, I'm going to go with Tyler Huntley over his rushing prop. It's 30 and a half. Like I said, he is similar to Lamar Jackson, like kind of like the knockoff version of him. And plus the Titans let Malik Willis run all over them uh, last week. Malik Willis uh, only had a few carries in that game, but I feel like he had like 70 some yards or something like that. So I think that that's the way to go. The Titans clearly have issues stopping dual threat quarterbacks. And when you don't know the system, you're going to take off and run. And if you're smart and you're the head coach, if you have a dual threat quarterback, why would you not have some design runs? So I feel like this one's going to be uh, Tyler Huntley trying to scramble around and pick up a few first downs. Uh, as far as injury report goes, Raheem Mostert is questionable in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, if he's out as well, I think that goes even more to Tyler Huntley's favor when it comes to the rushing props. But uh, again, I don't know which side to take here or even which total to take. So I'm just going to bet on Tyler Huntley to be running around. All right. Well, I think that's when you look at game script like we were talking about, I think it's really smart. So good on you, Chelsea. Love that bet. What else do we like when it comes to tonight's Monday Night Football matchup? Seahawks and Lions in Motown. Lions laying three and a half. The Lions are minus 190. The Seahawks are plus 155. Your total set at 46 and a hook. I am going to go Lions here, and now we've seen this line move to Lions minus four and a half overnight. So the money coming in on the boys from Motown, it's still at four in some spots. I'll probably play it down to three. I need a dub, man. But even at four and a half, I really like the Lions here. What do you think? Yeah, I think so as well. And primetime at home feels like a Lions win, especially for a team that feels – more, uh, I, I guess what I'm trying to say here is the Seahawks look very one-dimensional to me. The Lions do not. Because right. if you look at the Seahawks, especially since they haven't had Kenneth Walker in the lineup, which he's coming back for this game, I believe, maybe they look a little bit um, more two-dimensional in this game. But it feels like they have to throw the ball a lot in order to, you know, keep uh, their winning record alive, which is fine. You know, they're undefeated on the year. But they've also beaten the likes of some teams that aren't that great. Uh, if you look at them against the Broncos, the Patriots, and Skylar Thompson and the Dolphins. So this will be the best offense that they've faced all season long. I'm not sure if they can keep pace with this Lions rushing attack because if the Lions uh, build up a lead in this one, they'll be able to run the ball. Uh, the Seahawks have not been great at stopping the run. Uh, gave up, I think, 180 to the Patriots earlier this season. The, the Dolphins aren't really a run-heavy team, so it's hard to look at that game and kind of you know justify the rush defense. But still, I think the Lions are in a good spot. I think Aiden Hutchinson can get some pressure on Geno Smith. Mm -hmm. I, along with you, like the Lions here, but the number kind of scares me because of the chaos that we've seen in the NFL this year. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm going to go slow tonight. Just one bet on the card. I'm going to lay it with the Lions, see what happens here. But you're right. As much chaos as we've seen, I do think this is a good spot for the Lions. And you know me. I was really big on the Seahawks 
at the beginning of the season. I really like what they did during the offseason, solidifying that defensive line, which was one of their big weaknesses. But ironically, a lot of those guys have not practiced this week. So what became a strength during the offseason all of a sudden in a week four matchup is a real weakness just because of the injury bug. I think the Lions are going to be able to run on the Seahawks. And also, I just think this is a good spot for Detroit. Seattle has done a nice job getting off to their 3-0 and start, but they played the Patriots, Broncos, mm-hmm. and Dolphins. So this is a huge step up in competition. And also, Detroit, especially now, you would have said this in the past, but playing in Motown on Monday night, as good as this Lions team is now, is a very difficult environment. So I thought this line was low at 3 and a hook. I still think it's low at minus 4.5, but I'm all over Detroit tonight. I think so as well. And if you like the Lions, I think there are some coordinating props that kind of go with this. The Mm -hmm. one that stuck out to me was Jared Goff and his passing attempts. The line is 33 and a half. I would look at the under, and it's juiced, I think, for a reason. It's minus 120. Mm -hmm. Because it feels like if they're in a a game script that is positive and they can run the ball, they are going to do that with the two-headed backfield that is David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. They've been really effective at running the ball. And plus, if you look at Jared Goff this year, he's only gone over this number once. But the sabotage factor mm-hmm. is that he went way over it. Uh, he had 55 attempts in that game against Tampa Bay. That was a loss. Again, I don't think the game script is going to go that direction. So I feel like the the passing attempts for Jared Goff, I would go under there if you like the Lions to win the game. Do you like a total? Do you like a side here when it comes to the over-under? I think you were leaning towards the over. I'm kind of leaning towards the under here. I just think that even though the Lions will win, I do think Mike McDonald, the Seattle head coach, is so good defensively. Remember, he came over from the Ravens, Mm -hmm. so that's really his calling card. And I think what he can scheme up defensively will be at least enough to keep this from going over the total, but it's not my favorite play. Yeah, I think game script matters once again, because if this is more of a blowout type game and Mm -hmm. the Seahawks are coming from behind... I will say it's a team that's kind of built for this because they can throw the ball. And I don't really like taking unders when you have explosive players on either side. Like, think about DK Metcalf. Like, he is fully capable of ripping off, like, a huge touchdown uh, reception haul. So I don't really love the under here. I would lean more towards the under because I do believe in both of these offenses. But uh, I don't know. I'm not really sold. Like, maybe I'll just play the Lions. Maybe I'll just play a prop. I don't know. Um Again, not feeling super confident after the way that the NFL has unfolded. Because, again, it feels like this should go in the favor of the Lions, where they win, they cover. But remember that game we had against the Cowboys and the Giants where every bit of ammunition went towards the Cowboys? You know, every bit of logic would say, okay, the Cowboys win and cover here. But what did they do? They won, but they didn't cover. They lost by the hook. 